look at these guys. These guys are huge. He's, a, he's an old sumo wrestler. And there is a whole story behind this guy. Actually, he, he was hitting a woman for a, from a very high standard. I'm talking about a sumo. His opponent is big too. Yeah, this but is... Yeah, this is Nathan Jones here from Australia. Anyway, what I was saying, he broke by accident the arm from a, from a wife of a, a very high class uh, Japanese guy in sumo, so they banned him from sumo wrestling. He can you, never do sumo anymore. You're talking about the gentleman on the right, uh, and that would be Koji Kitao. Kito! <laughs> Koji Kitao, former Yakuzuna. Right, boss? And that means the grand champion in sumo. Oh, yeah. He was good. He was very good. And he's 6'7", weighs 390 pounds. Nathan Jones being no shrimp at 345 pounds. <laughs> you don't want to have the big guy on top of you. Okay, there's been a lot of references in the past to uh, Japanese cinema. And one of the <laughs> classic films from Japan was... Godzilla, and over the course of many sequels, Godzilla faced a lot of really big monsters himself. This is like a Godzilla movie. Oh, yeah. You've got a big, huge Australian versus a Yokozuna who's six foot seven. This, this is going to be like all of Tokyo is going to get leveled from this fight. It's, it's going to be very interesting. From what we've seen before, the sumo wrestlers didn't do real good in the... Uh, in, in the UFC, we saw him nice spitting here on a uh, cameraman. Did you see that? Now, now this guy's <laughs> bouncing around, trying to do like a Muhammad Ali move, but he's maybe a little too big to be spry on his feet at 345 pounds. He may uh, want to use strikes against Koji. Yeah, you, I, I think he, he should go kicks, kicks to the legs. I always think legs that carry that weight all day long, you know, they, they, they can't be that super strong. Ooh. Nathan Jones with a spinning crescent kick, one of the most wow. underused kicks in real martial arts. You see that kick a lot in movies, but... 345-pound guy doing it, it's unbelievable. And that was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. The crescent kick, though, I've only seen one crescent kick land in many fights. I'm going for the left high kick there, boss. He should go for low kicks. And he's got a guillotine choke, but I don't know that... Anything about his background and submissions, but Katao's got to watch out here. Nathan Jones obviously uh, isn't familiar with submissions because he would want to drop his hips and move his hips forward and start creating pressure on Koji's neck. Koji would try and grab that leg and go for a takedown. Nathan doesn't appear to be going for a submission here, boss. He's got a no, perfect. It's, he's got a perfect. Uh -oh. and, he, and he gave his leg up. Oh. Bad strategic move okay. there by Nathan Jones. Gave the leg up, basically. Koji in the side mount. You don't want to have a guy like this side mounted on you. How, how are you going to get this guy off of you? Uh, you're not. You know, if the guy's smart and he's just holding you and using his balance and weight the right way, it's very difficult to get him off. The only thing he can do is try to move on the ground, keep moving, keep moving, make the guy tired because he's got a lot of weight to carry. N Nathan Jones, by the sounds... Uh, sounds like he may be almost in panic mode, but he's, he's relaxing. When you're on the bottom with a man who weighs 390 pounds, it is imperative that you stay relaxed. Otherwise, you'll use all your energy in 10 seconds. It oh, goes, no, he's going for a key lock. Oh, he got him on a key lock. Unbelievable. The Americana. We never expected this to see from a sumo wrestler. Koji Katao. Uh... Well, I'll tell you one thing. Nathan Jones isn't a grappler now, is he, boss? No, he is not, man. He had a... But he came out with some nice kicks. He should have started kicking him to the legs. That was uh, the wrong strategy. I don't know. I, I, I don't think we're going to see either one of these guys breaking into the top ten. Yeah, you never know. You never know, but I... I because I'm this guy sure just gave right. him his arm here. And he just... It, it, the guy, the it, guy laid on his back, didn't try anything. Uh, not uh, true. Koji's got, he's a big guy. This guy knew nothing, nothing. about the ground. Nothing. Look, he, he gives him he, the arm. He didn't know anything about the and arm. And it's not even like, it's not even a real hard lug. It's like he, he's just 
people who are strikers are most of the time afraid of submissions. And they tap when they think, oh, I can break something. It doesn't even hurt, but they're already afraid. And then they tap. 